Wow. Now, would you look at this beauty right here? Yeah, it's really nice, right? She <laughs> is a thing of beauty right here, this bad girl. Oh, yeah. She is a naughty little princess. I got to tell you that. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of an old flame that I used to have back in college. Yeah, she was a beauty. She sure sounds like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, she was there for me all the time, anytime that I needed her. Anytime I needed to clear my head, blow off some steam, or just go for a drive. She was there. Nice. Anytime I needed someone to talk to, someone to cuddle with, or just <sighs> someone to be inside of. <laughs> what? She was always there for me. My absolute love. My one and only thing in this world. Yeah, it's so many dates. So many memories with that car. I, I know what you mean. So many experiences with the ladies. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, sex. Yeah, no, sex I, I got women. it. Yeah. I, I got it. Yeah, but no matter how much unbelievably kinky or unprotected sex that I had inside of the car, it was always the car that did it for me. You know, I'd get home at the end of the night, I'd just look at the car and it looked so beautiful in the moonlight. I never could make it upstairs to my bedroom, you know? I'd always decide to just sleep in the back seat of the car, caressing the leather seats, whispering sweet nothings in its ears, even flipping through the stations trying to find a channel that would put us both in the mood. Both in the mood? We were together for so long. And we loved each other. We cared about each other. Twelve long years. But then something happened, you know? She just started to get old. And she couldn't move like she used to. Something was lost in her. Something was lost in us. Yeah, I, I, I really don't like this. I took her down to the auto shop and the guy said, you know, we can get her fixed up, but it's only going to be a temporary thing. In the long run, it's really not going to help her all that much. It would be better to just let her go. I didn't want to let her go. She meant so much to me. This is just so fucking weird. So I took her up to the edge of a cliff. I sat outside of it for days singing to it, telling her how much I loved her. My only regret in our relationship is that I didn't tell her at all sooner. And once I had done everything, burnt my clothes, burnt my wallet, and I drove that car off the motherfucking cliff. Thelma and Louise, baby! What? It's so unnecessary. She meant everything to me. I could never love anything that much again. Uh, uh, okay. How much you want for this car, man? Oh, this this is not for sale. <sighs> Come on, man. Everybody's got a price. No, nope. <laughs> no, nope. it's not for sale. Please, just let me buy this car off of you. I'll let you have my bike. Where, where's your bike? Okay, I'll, I don't have one, but I'll let you pick one out and I'll pay for half of it, okay? No. That's a no, good deal, please, man. That's just, a really good deal. Stop. I, I don't want to sell the car. Come on, man. I've been watching you for weeks, okay? You don't love this car the way that I do. What did you just say? You don't know how to love a car. I love this car. I love this car better than you'll ever love this car. All right? I can love a car better than you ever will in your entire fucking life. Please get off Give me your car. car and I'll suck your dick. I am not what? kidding. And I'm really good at it too, okay? Seriously, I know how to fucking suck a dick, okay? I took a class that was led by these two guys who used to be porn stars that look like Tom Selleck, but more muscular and less good I'm, at acting. I'm good. I'm not selling you my car, hey, buddy, man. If you don't give me your car right now, I will track it down and I will fuck the shit out of it. And the next time you use it, you will smell me. And even though the car will be pristine because I washed it down, you will know that I have been here. And you won't know where or what I did to it. So give me your car. Or I will find it. And I will fuck the shit out of it. Hey mom, I'm going to need you to pick me up because, um, well... <laughs> It's quite a long story, but basically I don't have a car anymore, and that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I, I really don't want to get into it right now. It was, um, it was traumatizing to say the least.